Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this Getting Started video tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Measure tool. Within the Measure tool, you can analyze coordinates, size, distance, and angles. We'll also go through some of the various options that allow you to control either the decimal precision or the unit of measure of each of your measurements. Let's have a look at how it all works. Okay, to use the Measure tool, you have a couple of choices. If you're not in a function within Top Solid and you don't have anything selected, you can right mouse button click in space and right here you have the Analyze Geometry function. This will launch into our analysis tools. Now if you don't like right click menus, you can go up here to the Tools tab and right here is that same function. Perfect. Now let's have a look at some of the options. Let's minimize some of this to start with. You can either analyze coordinates size, distance, and angle. Let's see how each works. With coordinates, it's based off your absolute frame or coordinate system, and you can see it out here on the screen. So if I pick this point, you can see there's the XYZ analysis from that frame. Now what's cool is I can pick another point, and it keeps my analyses. And the reason for that is because within the settings here, I have the option turned on called Keep Analyses. If I uncheck that, it'll only keep the current analysis. Now next, since we're in the advanced options here, look at my accuracy. Here I have it set to go to five decimal places. Here I have the unit set to inches. But perhaps, even though I'm in an inch document, I want to know what the measurement is in metric. So I can switch that and get the measurement in metric instead. It's kind of useful. Next, let's have a look at maybe doing a size measurement. So here I'll click on size and the first thing I want to point out is in the dialog box where it says automatic. Automatic means it lets you select what you want and the software tries to interpret it. Here's what I mean. If I click on automatic I can analyze either a curve, a surface, or a shape. So if I leave it in automatic and I select on this face here I'm going to get a surface area. It's telling me the type of geometry as well. This is a plane surface area and what the perimeter of the profile is. If I choose an edge like that, and this is a circular edge, I get a whole lot more information, which is great. I get the length of that radius, I get the radius, the diameter, the start point, the end point, the center point, the chord length, and even the aperture angle of the arc. Awesome. What if I choose a different type of face? How about if we choose this face? Well, now we get the fact that it's a cylinder, the radius, and so on. You get the idea. You can select anything you want. Next, I want to analyze distance. Again, pay attention to here because you can force it to only select certain types of geometries. Maybe what I want to do is I want to measure from right here to right there. It's a silly thing I'm measuring, but just to show you how it works, this is following the exact distance from the two points I selected or the delta distances based on the orientation of your frame. But if you notice, these measurement tools give you the ability to measure almost anything that you want. The last one I'll show you is how to measure an angle. Maybe I want to measure the angle of this face here because it's at some kind of inclination, right? So I'll select here. I'll select the cylinder to use its axis to measure off of. And here we have our 15 degree measurement. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.